Anyway, um, let's move on. Senate Republicans are blocking the debate on the sweeping voting rights bill, obviously. Say they will continue the fight over voting rights after Senate Republicans block their sweeping reform bill. A move to begin debate on the so-called For the People Act failed last night in a 50-50 party line vote. 60 votes were needed. Our Nancy Cordes is at the White House for us. Nancy, good morning to you. What does the Biden administration plan to do now? Well, Tony, the president announced that he's going to have more to say next week. But beyond that, there doesn't appear to be much of a plan, which is a reflection, frankly, of how few options Democrats have on this issue in a division. So one thing that really frustrates me is that, like, we fucking gave up. All right. So the voting rights bill, you can't fucking tie to a pure majority a pure majority uh, uh, bill, obviously. You can't do a budget reconciliation for the fucking voting rights bill, right? Obviously, you can't do that. You can't. I'm sorry. Like, that's... it. Like, I don't give a fuck about the symbolism of the Senate or anything, but, like, that would be very difficult to tie into the budget, okay? It, does, it has to, at the very least, like, impact the economy, okay? You're not going to be able to do that with... If you can't say that for $15 minimum wage, which you absolutely could... You're absolutely not going to do that for, uh, uh, for this situation. Now, there is one thing you can do, though. Okay? There's one thing you can do. Like, you're not going to be able to abolish the filibuster either because they don't fucking care and they do not want to abolish the filibuster. Uh, the Democrats don't. Like, we're, we're hearing Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin be like, no, if we abolish the filibuster, how the fuck will I do my own personal branding project in the Senate? So there's that problem. But there is something you can do that Joe Manchin brought up, actually. I mean, I fucking hate Joe Manchin. I hate Joe Manchin. But even Joe Manchin believes... Even Joe Manchin believes that you can, at the very least, make filibuster uh, uh, harder to filibust. That you can't just simply state that, guys, you have to stop. It's 1232. I'm not going to fucking run an ad. You you're being so annoying right now. Holy shit, dude. Budget reconciliation is defined in statute, not Senate rules. Yes, but you can. So what? Senate breaking those rules would land the bill in legal trouble? Shut the fuck up, dude. What are you talking about? You can't. That's why I'm saying that you can't do this for any bill, but you can absolutely do it for adding the $15 minimum wage, which, which regardless of what the fucking uh, Senate parliamentarian's uh, opinion is, which can be changed. Can still, uh, can still legally be added on. Uh, or could have been added on to that, uh, to that previous proposal, the recovery bill. So you're wrong on that front. I'm agreeing with you, you himbo. Oh, okay. So. So you. So what I was going to say is you can do certain things, which is to punish people that want to filibust, okay? If you want to do a filibuster, you have to be there. You can't just threaten with a filibuster and uh, and don't not even fucking show up. Like you should be there, dude. You should actually have to if you want to fill if you want to do a filibuster, you have to fucking stand on the Senate floor and talk the entire time. It's fucking bullshit that we don't do this. You have to debate. You have to be there. That's the only way that you should be able to do that. Put a goddamn catheter up your pee hole, okay? I don't give a shit. Wear a colostomy bag. And get your geriatric, fatless ass up on that goddamn stage and speak for as long as you want to do it. And I do think that it's bullshit we won't do this. If we're not going to be able to abolish the filibuster, which we're not going to be able to do, like it's just not going to happen, then we absolutely should, at the very least, do what Joe Manchin suggested, which was make the filibuster punishing. And this is like... Something that Joe Manchin said he would be uh, willing to do, and we're not even talking about that anymore. That is, of course, 
we have to do that. And then, only then could we, at the very least, like, punish Republicans and have them literally defend uh, their positions for hours on end if they do want to stop the American people from, I don't know, getting some sort of federal regulation over who gets to vote and who doesn't get to vote. Divided Senate. The fight is not over. Vice President Kamala Harris presided over the Senate during her party's failed attempt to advance a voting rights bill. The motion is not agreed to. Every Democrat voted yes, but it was not enough to overcome a Republican filibuster. This vote, I'm ashamed to say, is further evidence that voter suppression has become part of the official platform of the Republican Party. The For the People I mean, Act it always was that. It always was that, and it always will Act be that. would have expanded early voting and same-day voting registration, ended partisan gerrymandering, and increased federal funding for election security. Republicans argued the measure was too broad and would have diminished the power that states and local governments have over elections. The bill that we have in front of us is not so much about voting rights as it is a federal takeover of the election system. The push for a federal voting rights law comes... Yeah, which is good and should have happened. What the fuck? And, like, it wouldn't be necessary if Republicans weren't such sick fucks. Or the Democrats back in the day weren't such fucking sick freaks that they literally did everything in their power to maintain, like, the, the segregated hierarchy of power that they have. And to refuse to give even a little bit of a fucking say to black and brown people living in uh, these uh, different parts of the country. Like, they're just, they're just, it's the same old bullshit. Comes as Republicans in. Guys, I'll talk about John McAfee in a second. Like, I don't care, okay? I'm sorry, boys. I do not care about John McAfee committing suicide or being murdered in prison. He probably did fucking commit suicide because I don't think anyone gives a shit enough to, like, murder him. Let's be real. Okay? If he actually was killed or uh, did commit suicide, I don't care. 48 state legislatures have introduced 389 bills this year alone to restrict voting access. The White House is rejecting criticism from some Democrats okay, who say the uh, president so hasn't been vocal enough. Those words are a fight against the wrong opponent. President Biden has tapped his vice president to lead the White House effort on this issue. This is about the American people's right to vote, unfettered. It is about their access to the right to vote in a meaningful way. One small victory for Democrats, the entire party held together on this Oh man, what a small victory to lose. Like, this is so pathetic. And it's perfect, by the way. Also in Washington. I don't even care about Biden's plan to tackle gun violence. Like, this is not going to happen. Okay.